Welcome to Trading View Trick Series from Market Secrets. In this episode, we are going to learn how to use the scaling function in Trading View. Okay. Before we get into the today's session, Market Secrets is proud to announce launch of Algo Traders Program ATP. If you are someone who is interested in learning end-to-end -end Algo trading, then use the link in the description to join our ATP program. And with that note, let's jump into today's session. So generally, uh, you know, if you plot any indicators in trading view, right? So let's plot an indicator like, you know, moving average. Moving average exponential, okay. So I'm plotting an exponential moving average, two different moving averages I'm plotting. And the first one can be like, you know, uh, I'm changing it from 9 EMA to 50 EMA. And uh, the second indicator I'm changing from 9 EMA to 200 EMA. Okay, so if I do that right, uh, and if I zoom in right, I'll always be seeing these two, uh, you know, indicators. So, you know, sometimes what happens is like this will distort the, um, you know, actual uh, screen. Okay, if you look at, uh, if you continue to zoom right, so the scandals will get slightly distorted. Okay, so if you look at here, this looks beautiful, right? But if you zoom in right, for example, right, the screen can looks a big one. But if you continue to zoom in, right, so the size of this candle will become slightly, uh, you know, um, uncomfortable or, you know, slightly uh, distorted, okay? So how to avoid this kind of thing, okay? So that's what we are going to learn today, okay? So it's a very simple technique. All you have to do is like uh, at the bottom, right, you just have to, you know, click on this button and uh, select a scale price chart only. So if you select this option, when you zoom right, so uh, only uh, the price chart will be scaled accordingly to this resolution, screen's resolution. So what happens is like, uh, you know, the relevant things like, uh, you know, these indicators will move away so that you get the clear picture of, uh, you know, uh, the chart. So if you see here, right, this still looks big. Earlier, uh, if you saw, right, it was kind of distorted, it looked very small. So if you want uh, to ha have a consistent look of your price chart, then uh, you should use this option. Uh, I mean, it's better to always uh, have this enabled so that you have a proper view of the chart. Chart. Otherwise, if you add too many indicators, right, uh, the view will become distorted and cluttered. So, you know, this is something, you know, if you are using trading view actively, especially for charting, especially for price action trading, then it's better to have this enabled all the time. Okay. So that's what I wanted to explain today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.